Hey guys, this is your girl Justina Elise. And today we are gonna do my mini twist maintenance video. So basically it's my night to nighttime routine for my mini twist. I do this every night. So if you're interested in seeing what I do, just keep on watching. If you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Click the red button and the bell next to it so you can be notified on my next video. And let's get into this nighttime routine for mini twists, baby. I've had these mini twists in my hair for almost two weeks. I think it's, been, it's gonna be a week and a half tomorrow because tomorrow's Wednesday. And I put them in either, I put them in on Saturday. So it's a week and a half today. So this is how my hair currently looks. I literally love this hairstyle. Um, I am getting like a little frizzies at the end, but essentially I love this hairstyle. Like you can really see where my bang is. Like they're trying to start to unravel and stuff, but it's all good. My hair still feels soft. It still feel moisturized. It still feel, I mean, it's frizzy. Like definitely at the roots is frizzy, but I mean, I ain't complaining cause it looks cute. Um, even my edges kind of look frizzy, but I'm just embracing the style, embracing the like protective style mode that I'm in right now. And I'm just gonna embrace this little hairstyle because after this video, I mean, after this hairstyle, um, I'm gonna do another one and it's it's not gonna be a protective style. So anyway, but anyway, um, so this is how my hair is looking. I've truly enjoyed wearing this protective style, but let's get into what my nighttime routine is. So it is the end of the night, well, end of the day, actually, and I'm gonna start relaxing. So, I am going to show you my nighttime routine. So today I wore this little headband. Um, as I said, my edges aren't as well off as the rest of my hair. Let me show you my edges. So it's kind of looking like that. They're like, especially cause maybe cause they're like super short on the edges. Like as y'all can see, it's super short on my edges, like both sides, my hair is super short. So it doesn't always like lay right. In the beginning I had, it was laying down, it was laying straight. Like I'll show you a picture of how my hair was when I started. And this is how it is now. It's definitely getting frizzy and stuff. So I have been wearing this headband. Okay, so basically my nighttime routine is super duper easy. Basically at night, the Number one thing, first thing I do every night, and I know y'all may be like, your hair is gonna be really oily, but it ensures that the moisture that's already in my hair stays in my hair. That's just what works for me. But I oil my style every night, and the oil I have been using is As I Am. My As I Am Dry Itchy Scalp Care Oil and Tea Tree Dandruff oil treatment and I use this because I have dandruff <laughs> I have really bad dandruff and it's mainly like in the back of my head and I think it's just like overall my hair sweats all the way to the back so my scalp is always always like dry back there if I do any style I keep it in for a, too long my scalp will get dry back there um, so I use this as I am, and this is like literally the only thing that has ever worked for my dandruff, my dandruff hair. Um, I'm probably going to do a video real soon about what else I use for my dandruff hair, um, just to help with the dryness of my scalp. So if y'all interested in that video, make sure y'all leave a comment below and let me know. So I use this as I am, uh, dandruff oil treatment every day every day 
because if I don't, my hair, my scalp gets like super dry. Um, I did in at the beginning, like when I first had this hairstyle, I did not like the first two days. I did not use this at all. When I initially put these in my hair, like the first day I put it, I put it in. But two, the two days after, I didn't put any in. And my scalp was like, girl, you need to oil your scalp. You already know you be oiling your scalp. So you need to oil your scalp. <laughs> like, oil it. So um, I use this and it works for me. My hair, my scalp hasn't been itchy, hasn't been dry, it hasn't been nothing. I use this oil every day. So I just apply it to my scalp in different sections. Is it open all the way? Yeah. I apply it to my scalp in different sections, just letting it absorb into my hair. And then I go ahead and massage it in to my hair just to make sure it's distributed evenly to my hair and honestly giving yourself a scalp massage every day is really good for your hair growth so i've seen a lot of people incorporate scalp massages, especially in the natural hair community, incorporate scalp massages into their natural hair routine. And it's helped with growth, like a lot. So this is basically what I do every night. I massage my scalp with my, as I am, dandruff oil treatment every night. So, this is how my hair looks after I've massaged it. And I make sure, I make sure there's enough in the back. Like, I can feel the oil going down my neck. <laughs> so, I know it's enough in the back. I'm just going to add a little more because that's like my problem area. But, we are good. And then don't forget to focus on those edges, especially if you have some kind of oil that is helps with hair growth. Make sure you focus on those edges, okay? It will help grow those edges out. And my edges need to grow out. Like this little shortness of these twists at the front, they have not been doing me justice, y'all. And especially because I be having this on, this is not satin or silk. So, because I put this on, I make sure I own my scalp right here at the front where my edges are. All right, so now that my, my scalp is oiled and stuff, now let's get into what do you do to go to sleep? Do you wear a bonnet? Do you have a satin pillowcase? Do you use satin scrunchies? Cause I know y'all seen me use satin scrunchies before. I use it all. I literally use everything. So I have my satin scrunchies. I have my bonnet. And I am gonna use this to stretch my twist. This is how I have stretched, have um, enabled my twist to be stretched this whole week and a half. So my whole thing about, so y'all remember, and I'll show a picture here. I used to have a precise part right here. I don't got any more because the frizz took over. I had that little precise part I would grab about this much on both sides of my head, right? Grab about this much on both sides of my head and I would take it, separate it in half, how the part was. And I would take this and I would take the twist on one side and twist it. So 
I'll twist one side just like that. So my twist is like that. Then I'll take this other side that is sectioned off and I will twist this side. As y'all know, this side of my hair is so much shorter. Well, it's not so much shorter, but it is shorter. And I just think this side just grows slower. Um, so I don't judge it. I just let it do what it do. And I think it's just a lot of shrinkage on this side too. So those are my two little twists, as y'all can see. And then I also, since the front of my hair is so short, I also twist another section towards the front. So I take about this much and I take all my hair because I'm gonna end up pulling all this back into two ponytails. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist this little front section and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So four twists in all at the front. And this really helps if you have shorter hair. This is just the way I do it because I have shorter hair. And this is the best way for all my hair to be continually be stretched throughout this hairstyle. So this is what I do. Okay. My other twist, so I got four twists in the front. Now I got my two scrunchies. So with my two scrunchie, I'm going to separate the back of my hair into two sections. So we got our first section here. We're going to grab it, grab all the rest of the twists that are remaining. I got that all open. Yeah, the rest of the twists that are remaining. Take our scrunchie. Take our scrunchie and do it exactly like I do when I do a wash and go. And I am going to crisscross all the way to the bottom and leave the end curls out, just hanging out, just like that. All right, and so we got our four twists in the front, we got our two ponytails in the back, and all we have to do is put this bonnet on. We put our bonnet on over our head, and then we lay on our satin pillowcase. And I have a pink satin pillowcase that I've had for years. So and when I just go to sleep, my satin pillowcase, and then wake up in the morning, take my bonnet off, untwist all my twists. Shake it out, shake it out. If I want, if I want to go ahead and add back my accessory, I go ahead and add whatever accessory, or I can just leave it down like this. But today I wore this accessory, so. And then you're off. So, 
so all right guys so if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe click the red button and the bell next to it so you can be notified of my next video and until next time guys remember that you're blessed bye guys